What's good? Y'all know who it is. Y'all know what it is. Your boy, Matthew Shack, live here in Los Angeles. Welcome to Matthew Shack Unfiltered. And it's over, man. Praise God, it's over. Because I'm sick of it. Deshaun Watson has been formally suspended for 11 games and a $5 million fine. Just went down a couple of minutes ago or maybe within the last half an hour or whatnot. And... Deshaun Watson got off. He got off easy, dog. Because 11 games is not 17 games. That's first and foremost. Second of all, um, he still maintains his innocence. I saw the interview. I saw his press conference. Because here at Matthew Shack Unfiltered, dog, we're not here just to repeat and regurgitate what the news headlines are. We actually do our homework over here. We actually watch your interviews. When we come here to talk to you guys, we know what the hell we're talking about because we viewed it. We watched it. We, we've been covering it because you guys deserve to have a fair commentary and analysis and opinion based on facts, not based on feelings and, and emotions and all of that crazy stuff. I watched the interview, man. I'm going to tell you something about Deshaun Watson. We all know what he did was stupid we all know what he did was irresponsible we all know what he did whether he was guilty or not being involved in it was egregious as the um previous uh the previous judge who ruled in the arbitrations used that exact word egregious but one thing about deshaun watson he's media trained man he's media trained when the, the press kept pressing him to find fault with the judgment find fault with the fact that if he's innocent, why is he why is he putting up with it or what, what's his position? He was smooth. He was smooth as hell, dog. Smooth as silk. OK, they basically said, you know, in a nutshell, in a very, very media savvy way, you know, I'm not here to 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 belager whatever it is the NFL needed to do. They needed to do. Um, I'm, I'm abiding by my legal team when they start talking about how's he affecting the locker room. He, he had the proper answer for that, saying that the Browns were definitely uh, not worried about what he was doing. They're concentrating on their opponents to be the best players they could be. I was just like, man, the kid was unflappable, man. He I was like, he did not even fluster. He didn't pause. He didn't stutter. They were really trying to get him to get an emotional response, man. And he, his 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 answers and the way that he came across was smooth, man. And that's what it is. He said he's moving on with his life and we need to move on with our lives, man. But even when he was asked about the civil cases, he had a smooth ass answer for that dog. I can see how Deshaun Watson is getting getting by, dog. I, I can see he's an intelligent kid, man. He's an intelligent kid when when the lights are on. There's a reason why when he plays football, when he played at Clemson, when he won the national championship, when he plays, when he played uh, with the Texans and now he's, he's a very, very cerebral guy and he's he, he, he under pressure. He's on point. But all the situations behind closed doors, man, it was just ridiculous that it needed to come out. But he got he got off lucky because Roger Goodell was coming for his head. Dog. They were going to give him another year, 17 games. And uh, that's what it was going to be, man. 11 games that gives him six games that he could play in the regular season. That gives him if the Cleveland Browns can keep their heads on. Um, that gives them an opportunity for them to possibly make the playoffs or late in the playoff run. If they could just keep it together, you know, play decent football, play maybe, you know, 600 percent, you know. 600 football or 60% wins or 55%, 57, somewhere in there, and he can come in and ball, there's an opportunity there. Um, so that's what it is, you guys, man. I'm glad it's over, man. Let's move on. But if there's more news to come out, if more people pop their heads in, if more people keep throwing things at this kid and saying that this happened and that happened and and, and all of this, I'm, we're going to talk about it because that's what we do over here, man. But I'm going to tell you something. Everything ain't worth it, man. Everything ain't worth it. A massage, I, I, I've been telling everybody, massage is supposed to relax you, not supposed to stress you out, dog. He didn't look as stressed out as he looked the other day. Now, he he's looking like he's relieved. He can, he can relax. He dealt with all his situations. And just understand, man, 
You have to guard your grill, dog. You have to keep your head on a swivel 24-7. As a man out here, it don't matter what your race, creed, religion, sexual orientation, whatever it is, how you roll out there, man, you better make sure you looking out for yourself, dog. You better make sure that your stuff is validated. You better make sure your reputation is beyond reproach. You better make sure that you got witnesses. You better make sure you got the camera rolling. You better make sure you have receipts. Because if you don't and you got something that's worth taking, they're going to take it. All right, I love all y'all out there, man. Matthew Shack Unfiltered.